now to the deep freeze that has many areas facing single digit temperatures that feel well below zero. And we have team coverage of this latest bitter blast from hidden dangers that may be popping up in your home to Lonnie's extra cold forecast. Let's start with CBS 2's Vanessa Murdoch and the damage that some repairmen say is the worst in the decades. It absolutely is. In fact, just last night, a pipe burst in this meeting hall behind me, creating quite a mess. I have to be honest, not everybody I spoke to today is bitter about the latest bitter blast, but of course it is starting to really take its toll on many people and homes across the region. Chilly, crisp, <laughs> horribly cold, numb. Like you just want to stay inside. Normally I love the cold, but this is a little bit much. Sharon Melton's braved the cold and fierce wind for two hours now. A lot of clothes. <laughs> and holding on to a pole. <laughs> <laughs> Says she'll do the same tomorrow morning when the wind chills dip to 20 below in North Arlington. I can't put any more on because you can't move. So we just have to make the best of it. And hope that you don't come home to find this. Ice in the radiator, hanging from the radiator, in the toilets too. You can see your breath inside this Carney home. The whole house is frozen. We could be looking easily at $50,000 in a place like this. Underground water lines that are buried are freezing. Tonight is going to be critically cold. Right. So what do we do tonight? Well, I will be raising the heat in my house. He'll also open up cabinet doors to allow the warm air in and run a slow stream of water from spigots too close to the cold. And we're ready for this winter to be over. Just 29 days till spring, but there's still a whole lot of heating that's going to happen. So Nikki Quintella led us into her home to get tips on ways to save. Lower your thermostat. So for every degree that you lower, you save approximately 3% on your heating or cooling bill. Just don't lower it tonight. Wait till the weekend when the weather is less extreme. Then find the temp you're comfortable with and leave the thermostat alone. Some freebies? Open those blinds. It's not just for sunlight, for lighting, but it's also heat energy, radiant heat energy. And keep in mind, lock windows aren't just for safety. You create a seal. And with all the equipment in the basement, you may be unintentionally heating it up. Keep your basement door open and that warm air will migrate into the living space. Again, tonight you may want to raise the temperature on your thermometer. Here's why. This is an example of a broken pipe, folks. And as the temperatures dip into the single digits tonight with wind chills well below zero and then temperatures warm up into the weekend, it's likely we'll be hearing a whole lot more about these. We're live from Bloomfield, New Jersey. Vanessa Murdoch, CBS 2 News. All right, Vanessa, thank you. You know, such a small little hole that can cause such a big issue, right? Disturbing, disturbing picture. Want to avoid it at all costs.